Hola amigos, this is Somvir and welcome to Learning Bots. Today we are going to see how we can use tags in our models. First of all, let's have a look how the final product will look like. I have my four sample posts here with the titles. We can see here we have tags on the top. These can be popular tags or latest tags, anything. Also, we have tags in our titles or blog post using which we can filter them. Let's have a look. If we click on tag 2, all the reports with tag 2 are coming. If I click on tag 3, all the reports with tag 3 are coming. If I click on tag 4, reports with tag 4 are coming. Let's also test these. If I click on tag 6, reports with tag 6 are coming. Tag 2, reports with tag 2 are coming. So this is what our final product will look like. Without wasting any time, let's dive into the video. Here we can see I have created 4 sample blog posts for our use. I am using title, created at date and a small description. How we are going to implement our tags in the blog post are there is a library from Django with the name Django tag it and we are going to use this for our case. I will provide the documentation link in the description. Here it will provide us all the information that we need so that we can implement it in our custom models. Let's dive into our editor and see how we can do it. I am using Atom editor but we can do it in any of the editors available. I am assuming that we all know how to create a Django application, Django project and how to create models. If you are new to Django, I would recommend you to see my other playlist where I have created Django project from start and I have deployed it. Moving forward, first things first, let's install our Django tag it module using pip install. Make sure we are in the correct environment if we have set any. It will take a while. Once this is installed, we will take help of the documentation to see what to be done next. This is the documentation. Once we have installed, we can see we have to add tag it into our installed apps. So let's do it in our settings. Go to install apps and I will add tag it, save it. The next step is to import this in our models. We can copy this line, go to our models.py. Here on the top I will import my tag it and here I will use tags is equal to taggable manager. Let's save this, make our migrations, let's migrate. If we go to our admin panel, this is where our posts are available. If we go into first post, we can see we have tags row here and it says comma separated list of tags. So let me just put a sample here tag 1, tag 2, tag 3 etc. Let's save this and I will do the same with other 3 posts. Once I have added tags into our post, I will go to HTML page and do some modifications so that I can see on my page. So this is my HTML page. Under description, I will use a for loop for tag in post.tags.all and I will just put them in paragraph text for now. Let's see if they are available on our page. If we refresh, we can see we have tags available, all the tags that we have put. Here we have successfully added our tags but they are not clickable and we cannot search from them. Let's make them clickable and let's try to filter the post using our tags. I will go to views.py. I have used class based views for my blog post. If you are not sure how class based views are working then you might want to look at a video that I created in another playlist. It will be right there on the top right corner. I am using a list view here that will provide a list of all the articles that are present. So I will copy this because I will be using the same for tags. Let's call it tag index view. I will use the same model, same template. For my query set, I will define a function get query set. Here I am just returning the object and filtering them using the slug of tag and we will be passing a tag slug from our HTML page that will be 
taken out using the quags. After this, we will go to our urls.py and I will make a path that will look something like tags and we will pass on a slug that will be tag slug and I'm calling tag index view and since it is a class based view, I'm using as view and I'm calling it post by tag. Once we are done with the URL, we will go to our HTML page and in place of this paragraph tag, I will use one anchor tag so that I can filter using the tags. The anchor tag will look something like this. The name will be the name of tag. I'm using URL tagging from Django where I'm redirecting the user to post by tag. We have created this URL just now and I'm passing on the slug of the tag. So let's save this and see our web page. If we refresh, we can see that they are now clickable. And if we check for them, if I click on tag one, the reports which have tag one are coming up. Let's see for tag three, same with the tag three. So our tagging is working. Now there's one more feature I want to add here. I want all the popular tags or all the tags to be available on the top so that I can click on them and all the related posts or reports can come. To implement this, let's go to our views.py. In our views.py, I will create one mixin that will be included in both post index and tag index. It will provide one extra context with the name tags, which will include all the tags available on our post. The mixin can be created using this code where I am modifying the context data and putting tags in the context. Let's put this in our post index view as well as tag index view. Save it and in our blog.html just below the topic I will include a for loop that will loop through all the tags that are available in the context and it will provide anchor tags for them and redirecting it to our URL we created. It will be easy for us to filter through them. Let's have a look at our web page. This is our home page and we can see we have tags on the top. So if I click on tag 4, I'm getting reports with the tag 4. If I click on tag 1, I'm getting reports with tag 1. Before finishing the video, I would like to recommend you one thing. If you are interested in learning more stuff about Django, there's one another playlist that I created where I have deployed the Django app and developed it from scratch. Also, I will be uploading many other stuff about Django and also other programming from Python. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss out any of the videos. If you like the video, give a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon. I have another announcement to make before we leave. We are trying to post all this information, the videos and the post and the information in our website codepipe.com. It is under construction for now, but we will be making it live very soon. So don't forget to have a look at the website. The link will be in the description. We will meet very soon with a new video. Until then, this is Somvir taking your leave. Adios.